Who said you can't go home? Real Estate Exposed, brought to you by Signature Real Estate. Real Estate Exposed is all about helping homeowners and those who would like to be homeowners and those who would like to get into real estate. Can you see me? Well, hello there, everyone. You can come closer. Sorry, to me. Beta. You know that, right? <laughs> You're allowed to come closer. Come closer, Shelly. Come closer. Hi, all. You're I'm a little Lala. feisty today. I am. I am having. I am having a day today, and so um, welcome to Real Estate Exposed, everybody. I'm Vandana Bala. Can you hear me now? Beta. Is that better? Can you hear me now? Maybe just. Is in- this thing on? <laughs> yes, it's on. We all hear right. you. So I'm Vandana Bala, one of the corporate brokers at Signature Real Estate Group. Brandon is not here again, but you know who is? My girl, Shelly Panzarella. I'm always here. You can count on me. <laughs> I feel like that's a song. Sing it is it. a song. Sing it. I don't know the song. Which, by the way, I, count I realize me. you're really good at singing. You realize that? I didn't know. I didn't. I think I was too drunk last year to um, really. Two years ago? To, two years ago. You don't remember that that was the exact song. It's one of those karaoke songs that you like. <laughs> you so kind of get the. We had a holiday party. <laughs> we had karaoke at the holiday party. And <laughs> Shelly sang a couple of songs. And yes. And she's pretty dang good thank you thank you very much so if i if i if i end up not doing so well on my uh mortgage career i could start my new side job my next hustle is going to be karaoke singing so the mic is in my face which is wonderful um for the camera that's amazing Um, (laughs) get closer it's fine i'm good with that nobody needs to see me um so (laughs) so feisty today (laughs) i have no market update for you because i don't have a laptop um, I didn't bring it in today. So, oh, but I did get a text. Hold on, let me tell you about this text that oh. I got. It's a pretty cool text. The cost of waiting to buy 2021 versus 2022. Want to hear it? Yeah. Want to hear it? All right, me too. So, um, the purchase year today, purchase amount three hundred fifty-three thousand nine hundred dollars. I think you did this um, for the office meeting. For good, yes. Mortgaged amount with ten percent down is three hundred eighteen thousand five hundred and ten. The mortgage rate is 3.1% today, right? Close. Ish. Mortgage payment is 1360. Mm-hmm. Okay, good times, right? All good, good things. Now, 2022, which is next year, you would be looking at a purchase amount of 376,904 that's based off of our current increase in market. Um, of about what is it? What do we decide? It was like 10% somewhere between 10 and 12% a month. Yep. Right, so three hundred seventy-six thousand in twenty twenty-two Q four. By the way, this time uh, next year, a mortgaged amount of ten percent would be three hundred thirty-nine thousand. So you're already paying more. You're already mortgaging more. Your interest rate, which we believe will go up between now and the end of next year, right at three point seven percent. Yep. Mortgage payment uh, would be fifteen sixty-one. So it's costing you two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks by not buying by waiting today. Yeah. So are we still having that inventory issue? What do you they think? They can't see me, but it was a very serious face <laughs> that I had. Freaking scoot closer. So I got this market update stat from uh, myself from on Shelly Panzarella. It's <laughs> Jan- Shelly Panzarella. <laughs> it said average price of new listings <laughs> is four twenty five. I'm not exactly sure where this stat comes from, but I feel like the it's average. Pop- it's yeah. probably from a market update coming from the association. And five thirty is list price. Average list price. Sure. Days on market to 85 maybe, seems maybe too long. Maybe you shouldn't be the one that does that. Maybe I know. Maybe should have some realtor do it. Maybe. That'd be a good idea. But how cute is that one, little... One, two, three, not it. So... <laughs> well, I was trying to find your info, but you don't post until don't, after this know, event. I haven't... Yeah, I don't post it until after our show because... I like to cheat. Well, see, in this particular case, would have been a good thing to have on there, so I could have at least run point on the numbers. But let's talk about last month and the uh, median sales price. I that was posted, four, 420. Super nice. Average price. Look at you. Thank you. It up. I like it. Nice way to I'm going. So you know the game's at seven tonight. I know. I'm so I'm so <laughs> frustrated that we keep having late games. So I know. T- well, tonight I have a, a party. Otherwise, I would probably have gone. We're not going to talk about they that party. Need to have, we're not gonna, we'll talk about the party. <laughs> I'm going to drink today. It's been a long time. Hater. I'm, I'm just going to get her. I've decided. Um, well, let, let me tell you when she made a deci- a very, very calculated decision that rec- that actually resulted in like these teary eyes and like we felt teary-eyed. super so- sorry I was for not her. Teary-eyed. Oh, she's like, I'm just not gonna drink this glass of wine. I appreciate you guys buying it for. I'm gonna be strong <laughs> because it's not for me. 
Have you seen my bar at my house? It's stocked. For and, and so who's it for then? Out. If you, I'm sure you have crown. Um, no, the crown's going to stay in the office. So and speaking go of your house, from the house, I've I've gotten here. some votes that uh, from your team that they would like for you to have your team holiday party at your house. I'm not doing a holiday party, so <laughs> I'm having. <laughs> Well, enough about that. Go ahead. I'm having... Um, Back to UV. I'm just kidding. I may... I don't know. It won't be a holiday party. It'll be an after year party. A new year party. A new year party. Awesome. It'll. Yeah, I could do that. Um, so... So you're drinking tonight. I, drank, I got it. Okay, yeah, so yeah, the last yeah. time I drank was uh, November. It was the Why? second week of November. I haven't drank since. Wow. That's pretty good. Cool. Did you First guys like put, a, put yourself on a, a pact? Uh, circle of champions. I didn't drink after that. After the? Yeah. I had, oh, oh I because had you wine. went back for the. Um, I, I had wine in Florida and then I came back and I haven't drank since. Mm. Was that rough, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it took me a couple of days to recover from that. But yes, yeah. I yeah. do remember yeah. the conversation. Yeah. So, um, so anyways, that's usually what happens when I go to Florida. Is yeah. I come back the humidity. a little bit rough up. The humidity <laughs> or it could potentially up, be yeah. some people who might so be a, been, bad influences out there. Been, it's been a month. Yeah, it's the it's the Mormon guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's the group. <laughs> it's the group. It's and Spencer are yeah. constantly uh, getting me drunk. <laughs> so, we, <laughs> so That's not true, by the way. Not That's true. not true. It's not true. They don't drink. <laughs> nor do they encourage it. Nor, nor do, do they, they have any alcohol near yeah. them or yeah. Yeah, Brandon! Hey, Brandon. Yes, it's been a month. Yeah. Um, that I've drank. And so the other night I was going to drink. We went to dinner and then um, they ordered me a glass. And this and teary eyed then, little I, girl I here. Wasn't teary eyed. Oh I just, my gosh. So dramatic. I was a little dramatic. I totally. I poured my wine into their glasses and I was like, I have a goal. I'm going to get there. If I get there, I'm going to drink on Friday. And then they gave me this whole like, if you drink on Friday, you'll never be our friend again. And I went, ew. But I gave myself permission to do that. So I reached my goal for the week, but it wasn't. It wasn't quite where I wanted it to be. Like, I wanted it to be a better goal. I wanted it to be better. So anyway, Oh, so give yourself some grace, man. Oh, I'm drinking tonight. That's the grace I'm getting. Hater. I'm going to tell you right that. now. And tomorrow gonna, is going to be a it. whole world of hurt. Sharing this on Facebook to Valerie right after it's recorded. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it'll be, uh, I have my CCW class tomorrow all day. So that's going to be That might not fun. be a good combination, though. You're, you're right. It probably isn't. But Especially knowing how long it takes I'm for you to recover. To I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to go work out. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Interesting. So let's talk about real estate. Let's do it. What are you What are you talking about? Uh, so you know the loan limits went up. I feel like everybody has been talking about that. Did you? What do you yeah. think about that? So I think it's great that loan limits went up. Um, there were you had done, which was kind of cool, a comparison to twenty to two thousand eight versus now, right? Mm -hmm. About loan limits and where they were, or average prices and where they were and where they are today. I thought that was kind of cool. So you should share that. She didn't bring it. She, we, we're not going to talk about that right now, but we will talk about the loan limits going up. So talk about, the lo oh, are you done? No, oh, you no, I can't hear You don't like to hear yourself on this? No, it just, it's if when I'm just talking to myself, I just feel like I'm talking to myself. Got it. I'm listening to myself. So, um, yeah, so the loan limits went up, which is kind of cool because that means that people can borrow more for FHA, conventional, right? All those things are good. What it is kind of good, but I still think, it, I mean, are we still running into the affordability issue? Because I was looking at that, it, so 660, I think, was the uh, uh, increase for conventional. 647, sorry. Which is nuts, so. See, it is. It's crazy. I had talk. a lot of buyers put 10% down in this price range so they can qualify for, I mean, because it was a jumbo loan, right? So do they, ha yeah, so now they have to wait, though, until January to yeah. do it. January so 1st. January 1st, if they wait, they can actually borrow more higher, yeah. at a higher rate without it being jumbo. So yeah. the interest rates would be lower, which mm -hmm. is freaking phenomenal but i so we did some uh comparison on what the income would be to qualify for that mortgage oh. just for the mortgage what do you think that number is um a million 900 no, i don't lower. know lower 700 650 just for the 000. income i don't know eleven thousand dollars a month <laughs> oh a month <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking so about exactly? I thought you meant annually. You didn't say. Oh, okay. Well, were, so I guess that. So okay. annually, 11000 a month what is that? times 12. That's a lot 150? of math. Come on. You're Asian. You got this. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. <laughs> <laughs> and you're 132. A I know. I'm not really good with numbers. So that's it. 132000 is what you need in order to qualify for a loan for 600 and 
what do you think the in Vegas? 647. 647? It's still new. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fat. I know, right? That's good. That is good. So in FHA. I qualify. We did. (laughs) But do you feel like, how many many people do you think in Las Vegas? Do we have that stat that we could pull? How, How many people in Las Vegas are at that income level? Where would I find that? I don't know. Let's just see. <laughs> I have no idea where that is. Brandon, where would did we you find that? that article? Was that article in our in our stack of articles? Area income for Las Vegas or Nevada. Area income for Las Vegas. What would that be? Area median income or what? No, but I can tell you the top cities for Gen Z. Let's do it. First of all, let's identify who a Gen Z oh, is. God, it's beta. Yeah, beta. It is people who are ages, um, who span ages uh, up to 24. That's you, Beta. Beta. How beta old are you? Beta is on the cusp. 24. Wow. But from nine years old till 24. So he's on the, uh, <laughs> he's. <laughs> wow. You are, you are young. But okay. So 2000, sorry, I don't mean to backtrack on this. 2019 median household income in Las Vegas, 56,000. Okay. What is it now? That was two I don't ago. think they're reporting that right now. Okay, <laughs> so like, hey, we had COVID, so we're not doing any. any... I mean, maybe <laughs> the numbers are a little skewed. <laughs> they're saying Nevada County ranges from Nevada County. This is not Nevada County, though. There is no, there's no Nevada County. Yeah, we're Clark County. Clark County, Nevada. Median, medium, median income sixty-two one oh seven. Still nineteen. I don't know what it is for twenty twenty. Okay, but that's still a lot. That would mean. I mean, even if we did a. 30% increase on that. It's still more, less than a hundred and yeah. 30,000. True story. It is a true story. So not a lot of people would qualify for the conventional, but the FHA lo- loan limit went up too. It and did. And that is? 420. 420,000. So 400, and it used to be? 362,250. Oh my God. I know. But we were doing 60, business. $60,000 like, it went up? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, conventional went up 98,000. God, is I'm going to go buy an FHA. I'm going to rent out my house and buy an FHA. <laughs> 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 I'm just, yeah. I'm not committing a loan fraud. I know. Guys. Everybody calm the heck down. <laughs> we would not let her do that either yeah, way. No. Um, but yeah, I mean, from that standpoint, affordability. I so much money on my house right now. Yeah. Just for rent? It. For rent? Oh, you yeah. You think so? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I have a pool. It's a single story. It's a four yeah. bedroom. It's well, Sell it. No. Oh. I'm never selling that house. Yeah, you shouldn't. It'll be something that I leave for the kids to do whatever they want with. And then I need to go get another one that's like it. But I think with with the house the way that it is and where it's at and a gated community, all the good things, right? I could probably get a lot. Like, I mean, my mortgage is nothing, but I could get maybe triple or quadruple that right now. Wow. That's awesome. I mean, market's gone up. What? I know. I should really rent my house, shouldn't I? What do you guys think? Should I rent my house or not? Or should I keep it? Should Can I, I rent it, it from you? Should I just hang out in it? Well, I just had the whole thing refurnished. So every room is refurnished. I've never seen that before. Hmm. My house? Mm-hmm. I haven't done the before and after quite yet. I just finished it. Like, it just finished. Like, we finally got light bulbs for the stinking dining table uh, light. Um, so what did I say? No, we got light the bulbs. stinking Did light. I say bulbs? Di- uh, or did yeah. I say fixtures? I just got light bulbs for the light <laughs> fixture above the dining table. <laughs> And that took three months. The dining table fixture, lighting fixture, took six months to get in. And then we couldn't find the bulbs for it. And then we did. Wow. And then and now, we did. And now? And now I'm like, what if I don't find them again? <laughs> so you, you, you <laughs> so overstocked dot com. overstocked on the stupid <laughs> light bulbs. I said, uh, aye, aye. So then I told her, I was like, I think I'm going to go buy another house. And she was like, well, what are you going to do with all the stuff that we did here? I'm like, I'm going to just leave it. What about a corporate rental? That'd be cool. Which is what I'm thinking. Yeah, that'd be awesome. So anyway, so we'll see. But I love my house. It is pretty. Right? Yep, it is pretty. I haven't seen it since the remodel and all that other stuff, but whatever. So I may just rent it and then go buy Buy a new FHA. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Probably not FHA, probably conventional. Yeah, now that I know you can qualify for the 647, Probably you're good. Probably jumbo. Yeah, I you. so I want so we talked a couple uh, weeks ago, yeah, and I want to build a single story, five bedroom, three car plus garage, um, home with a pool. Love it. Where? <laughs> where that's, are you going to build it? That's Brandon's house. Brandon, you want to sell your house? No, I don't want it. I don't want it there. It's too far. It's too far. Too Brandon's. Far northwest. Yeah. I don't even know if I want it in Vegas. 
Ah. So like Pahrump? No. Over the hump in Pahrump, Laughlin. I don't know if I want it in Nevada. Oh. Would you work? Have you guys seen Yellowstone? Yeah. No. I think Dude, I want I it watch in Montana. Me. Montana? <laughs> Go get a ranch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. All right. So top cities for Gen Z first time buyers. You ready? Ready. Number one. Oh, wait. That's a different list. <laughs> Number one, Detroit. Michigan. That's so crazy. What's happening out there? I don't know, but it is the number one city for Gen Zs. <gasps> you see number two? Number two. And three. Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that where we went? We went to Cincinnati. Yes, that's, Cincinnati. That's where we're. Oh, shit. <laughs> Take that back. Take, Take that back. back. <laughs> Give it back to me. Number three, Cleveland, Ohio. No, that two. was two. Toledo. Uh, Toledo, Ohio. That's a lot of Ohio's. I know. What's happening, happening Ohio? in Ohio? Number four, Memphis, Tennessee. So funny story, mm. ev- uh, like four agents on my team right now are referring clients um, to, Tennessee? to Tennessee. And I'm like, what is happening in Tennessee? What it's all the Gen happening? Zers. Ah, all these little nine-year-olds are running yep. around buying houses? Number five, <laughs> Tulsa, Oklahoma. Number Let's see what's in six. Tennessee. St. Louis, Missouri. Number seven, Wichita, Kansas. Wichita, Kansas. Number eight, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Number nine, El Paso, Texas. El Paso, Texas. That's a surprising one. And number 10, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. So you've got on this list, Ohio has shown up twice. Mm -hmm. You've got Oklahoma that showed up twice. You've got, that's it. (laughs) So Vegas is on the list, but. In the top 30, right? I don't know. Where is it? Ooh, listen. So as of November 2021, everybody said it's the time to buy in. No, Vegas Nashville. is number 29 as the best city to live in for a Gen Z. Oh, what is the fir- what's our category we're talking about right now? We are talking about top cities for Gen Z first-time buyers. Um, same, oh. same. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, it's the ones that are offering the best <laughs> opportunities for them to buy. I got it. Okay. To own property. And probably because these Gen Zers can work remote. Maybe. Right? Because they're a lot, they're probably, probably more like computer techie, marketing media kind of guys. And so yeah. the remote aspect of it works. And so they're going to go to where the median property prices. Yep. So the best places for them to live 000. is in California. There's like three California cities, Oakland, Anaheim, and Sacramento. But did you see why? Oh, there's also Long Beach on here. There's San Diego on here. There's um, Irvine on here, Fremont, Riverside, Santa Clarita, Santa Ana, Chula Vista, Los Angeles, <laughs> San Jose. This is nuts. And it, no, Atlanta, Georgia. That's different. That's not a CA. That's a GA. Yeah, so we've got lots of California cities on here. That's so crazy. You've got Cincinnati as number 20. Cincinnati. Which I think is kind of cool. WKRP in Cincinnati. I think it's cool, but I don't understand how they measured this. That's done. Because some of the stuff is like weird. So top 100 for Oakland at uh, scoring at 100 is because of the equality index. Interesting. Why is yeah, that? Because we don't treat Gen Zs with the same amount of equality as we do with the other. Let's see what Vegas is at. So Vegas is also at 100. So that's really not a. So it's not a good estimator. Deriving. Median age in the 30s. Mm-hmm. That's not really Gen Z though. No, it's not. They're to 24, right? We mm-hmm. just decided. And that was exactly what beta was. Oh, yep. beta. All right. So um, What? Why are you laughing? What do you like to be considered if not a Gen Z? <laughs> you you want to be a millennial? He thought he was a millennial. What's a millennial is 25 and over? Uh, age, millennial is 25 to 40. So we are Gen X. Oh, Scott. Yay, Yellowstone. Yes. <laughs> do you want to go move to is that um, a- Montana? Is that an ongoing series or is that series over? It's an ongoing series. I can't um, watch it. No, it's, but it's, there's quite a few, there's like three seasons already. And, mm. um, the girl Beth in there is my spirit animal. I really yeah. like her until season three. And then she turned into this, which like, is now I'm in silent love. And she wasn't really that badass anymore. So let's talk about standout markets. <laughs> <laughs> We're not in that category, by the way. The top 10 standout markets, why is that? Um, because I don't know. We don't stand out as much. So the top 10 standout markets for 2022, 
Expect the nation's hottest markets next year to be centered largely in tech hubs. And there it is. Mm -hmm. Tech hubs in the Midwest and uh, mountain states, which offer affordable alternatives to pricier coastal regions. Realtor.com recently released its forecast of the top performing markets for 2022. Our top housing markets are attracting remote minded workers possibly interested in snagging a big city salary while still enjoying the quality of life these generally smaller areas afo- afford hmm. and so i think that's the key right so number one is salt lake city it's got a pretty chill atmosphere um boise idaho so funny story potatoes um right i think i told you this so no i didn't hmm. i didn't tell you this maybe my so i've been looking for places to go on vacation you did uh, so I'm looking for places to go on vacation between uh, the 17th to Christmas, right? And I looked at the map because I don't know what's around us. So I had to look at a map of the United States. And I realized <laughs> that we have, there's California, obviously, which I go to all the time. So I don't want to do that. There's Arizona. You've got Utah. I've been there before already. I want to do something different. So you've got, so really it's Arizona. And then above us is Idaho. Idaho. I am uh, not Daho. Daho. I am not Daho. You Daho. But for Idaho. Sure. <laughs> so I tell my kids, here's our options. Oh, and I put Denver in there because Denver is on the other side of Utah. And I was like, or Colorado, right? And I was like, let's just, we could go there. And there's, you know, go to Colorado Springs. There's some really nice hotels. So they're like, well, and I said, or we can go to Idaho. And they're like, but mom, you're not having any potatoes right now. What would we do in Idaho? <laughs> and that's how that, that's how that went. You're down. not having potatoes? I'm not eating. I mean, tonight I am. You just <laughs> tonight. I yeah. don't give a shit. Tonight I am. Tonight I'm eating whatever I want. I'm drinking whatever I want, and then I will start from scratch. Good for you. On Sunday when I recover, <laughs> and then let me know eight. how that CCW thing works out for you tomorrow. Oh my God, it's going to be painful. <laughs> or and when you know you the funny thing is, is I told my assistant when she booked it, I was like, "Yeah, go ahead and book it for Saturday." And I was like, "Ooh, that's probably not a good idea, considering that I'm going to be out because I had already decided I was going to go drinking because of all my friends because they're pushers." And so <laughs> really, yes, and so, you kind of assimilate to that same thing. When you start drinking, you're a very heavy which pusher. Which is why I don't drink. Huh? <laughs> so if I start drinking, it's, it's a bad story for everybody. Everybody starts. When I drink, everybody drinks. Yeah. You had to jump off the boat okay. in order to not drink with Vaughn in it that day. <laughs> so yeah. So that's how that works. Got it. Um, that's why I don't drink as often. And you should be thankful that I didn't drink. Because once I get started, I can't stop. Because have you you're, ever read Better Than Before? No, but you told me. You're. Oh, I did tell you. <laughs> so th- there's a, there in, in a book called Better Than Before, there's two things that distinguish someone, right? You can be a moderator or you can be a, um, um, oh my gosh, in, an asshole, um, not no, an it's asshole. it's like abundant. Um, um, no, it's aggr- not abundance. It is, oh my God, I'm having a total, it starts with an A though. A hole, huh? You were close, but not a hole. No, it here better than before. Where you don't, where you just, oh, abs, abstainer. So you can either be an abstainer, or you can be a moderator, right? And I have decided that no. I cannot be a moderator because I go from like happy, yeah. fun, drunk to blackout, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? There's nothing in between. <laughs> happy, fun, drunk, blackout, done, done for the night. I go all in. Yeah. I do not never give I do up. Not mess around. <laughs> I do not mess around. So everything I do is a is in like can't go in moderation. Yes, everything. Yeah, everything I do. So I have to abstain. So if I don't abstain, everybody's doing it with me. <laughs> and do you remember what that was before the, the show that I was after? Yes. Yes. The food had to get started earlier than planned because we were all pretty much part of the pushing mechanism that was happening in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're still on this. 10 yeah. standout markets for 2022. Salt Lake City was number one. Boise, Idaho was number two. Spokane, Washington was number three. Indianapolis. Um, uh, Minneapolis. Indianapolis. Indianapolis is number four. Now here, the, it's based off of, by the way, median home price, anticipated price growth, and anticipated sales growth. So Salt Lake City has a median uh, um, home price right now, 564000 mm-hmm. Their anticipated price growth is 8.5%. Which so is, what's the difference with price growth and sales growth? Sale, anticipated, I don't know. So um, <laughs> Let me see if they give that answer. Is it in here? Do, 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 do. Nope, I don't know. They don't. So uh, number four, Indianapolis. Number five, mm-hmm. Columbus, Ohio. Number six, Providence, Rhode Island. Hey, there's and your Ohio again. Ohio. What Ohio is happening is, in Ohio? A lot's happening in Ohio. Did you, oh. did you know? <laughs> no. Kidding. What? Number seven is Greenville, 
um, South Carolina. That's what SC is, right? South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Then you've got Seattle. Um, Seattle is a good place to visit. That's a that's actually a great vacation yeah. spot. But that's actually um, buyers. Yes. Airbnb on the water. It's cold though, right? What do you think? It. What did you you went there recently? Worcester. Um, War Worcester. War Worcester. Wor no Worcester. <laughs> Worcestershire. Worcester. It's like rural. rural. Worcester, Massachusetts is on the list at number nine and Tampa, Florida at number 10. Worcester. Worcester. Wor wor say it. No, Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcester. 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 No, there's no H. War. W O R. It's missing the H. Worcester. No. No, Wor that's, you're thinking Worcestershire. Worcester, <laughs> Massachusetts. <laughs> Have you seen? There's a, there's a TikTok about the Worcestershire sauce. Is there? No. Do you <laughs> watch TikTok? I don't, but I have a friend that sent it to me all the time. And she sent it to me. And I could see her laughing as she's sending it to me. Like, I can picture her in my mind laughing as she's sending it to me. Because this moment I got it, I started laughing. And then I tried it and tried it and tried it. And, yeah, I can't get it either. It's like rural. Rural. <laughs> rural. So I'm trying to find out. Where, did they decide where the, uh, is it FIFA, FIFA? Where? I don't think so, but they are planning. Is that why Ohio is, or... No. Um, so, you know, okay, so I think when we went there, right, one of the things that's happening in Ohio or specifically in Cincinnati is similar to what happened in our downtown. So mm -hmm. they're doing an entire revitalization of their downtown area, which is similar to what happened here, mm -hmm. right, with the whole Tony Shea project and everything that happened over by Zappos and blah, blah, blah. So they are really aiming for, um, for a similar situation there where home prices are going up and you know it's going to be fun to to be there and activities and it so was fun and so i mean i actually well, i was at, uh so tony today shea. is actually tony shea's 40th birthday and they're doing a memorial service for him oh nice i just as you were saying that sorry i i had a really good time down there i didn't i was like pleasantly surprised as to what the community looked like even in some of the areas where they're like hey this is a little bit outskirts and Whatever. Sure, like, come to Vegas. I'll show you out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously, I thought it was actually. Um, and then you have what the football, you have baseball. They just the built the stadium, right? Yeah. All, and then it's right by this cute little river. So cute. Yeah. Super cute. Yeah. Was. So cute. I don't know. Is Do that where they. Do they have dead bodies in Ohio? Is that what happens there? Is that where people <laughs> dump their stuff? They say it's because of the transportation. <laughs> Is that where they dump the bodies? Is in Ohio? No, tell me more. I was like, I thought is it was that a, like Is that Mead. a mob thing? Or is that no, like just like a every, everybody thing? Like if I was mad at you and I wanted to kill you, I would dump you in Ohio River? In Ohio River. Chula, Chula Vista? Vista? No. no. That does not happen. Stop it right now. They got now. the ocean next to Chula Vista. Yeah. I mean, all this desert between here and Chula Vista. Like, why would you dump somebody in the water? Right. <laughs> the water does? Does it? Ah, from Chula Vista. So uh, ooh, that Tijuana. makes more sense. Yes. Got Rosarita. It. Got Rosarito. it. That's why the tequila is so good. In Tijuana? Everywhere in Mexico. <laughs> you can get those fresh tacos too. <laughs> right off <No>. the little. <laughs> yes. I've Have you ever had tacos eating there? them again? Yeah. When I was young and drunk. Yeah. When? Yeah. So like what? A couple weeks ago? How long? No. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, before November. Before yeah, November, yeah. before November. Have you um, have you been to Tijuana? I have. That was like a a cool spot for a minute. Well, how, like when was the last time you went? Uh it's been years because I haven't done anything. I haven't, we haven't been down there since Sydney was born. But so twenty twenty ish years. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you went, Beta? High school. Shut your mouth right now. Nobody wants. Eight to talk years to ago. You. What eight about years you? Ago. She's it's like eight years ago. Um, you know. You just went there. There are so many no, other places just, to go. You know, you know. Yeah. really. No, I didn't just go there. I haven't been to Tijuana probably for four or five years. Okay, really? <laughs> <laughs> there are so many other places Is that to recent? go. Yes, oh. more recent than our high school are over here. <laughs> yeah, I need. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But the last time I had gone to Tijuana before that was like high school. I also lived there. I not in Tijuana, but I lived in San Diego for a really long time. So Tijuana is a hop skip and a Not four away, years right? ago though. So what no, not what four brought years you to ago. Tijuana four was, years ago? Um, you know, stuff. 
I had to dump a body. So we're going to talk about... Yeah, the fresh tacos. The fresh tacos. That, that was actually a unique experience. Yeah. Or what about you the know, painted I do zebras? Street food. I don't do street food. In painted like d- zebras? Did you ever see those? They're donkeys painted with the stripes. <laughs> no, they're not. And, and it was an... <laughs> they would like, if you wanted to take a picture with a zebra... This is when I went, not four years ago, like 20 years ago or whatever. <laughs> there would be these donkeys painted like zebras, and they'd ask if you wanted to take pictures with it. Interesting. I know. They had other parts of them that were different, but... You know where I want to go? I yeah. would really, really want to go um, to Puerto Rico. Yeah. That's a cool place. Let's go. Sure. South so, Coast okay. So let me tell you something about Puerto there? Rico is that their tax rate right now is like 1.4%. So if you lived in Puerto Rico versus here, let's say you made a ton of money, and where am I getting this information? Somebody told me I'm regurgitating it, so it might not be true. But <laughs> we just, you have to live there for over half a year. So you know this. It's a thing. People yes. know it. Are you planning on moving? No. So, <clears throat> there t- so you could save, I mean, if you're in the <clears throat> millions, right, you could save millions of dollars in taxes just by moving to Puerto Rico. And they've got some beautiful homes. They're not as expensive. They're all the things. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I mean, it's a cool place to be, but I, I don't know that I could be there for 188 days. 181 days. You have to be there uh, <coughs> 51% of the time, mm-hmm. right? Yep. I mean, why not? It's like retirement. Well, I mean, maybe now because we're so remote. But yeah. you guys would miss me if you didn't see me. 180. You cannot step foot into the United States 181 days. I mean, you could go back and forth. Mm-mm. No, I have, a fri- I have a friend who lives there who comes back every single month for a meeting and then goes back. You have to be in Puerto Rico for 51% of the time, accumulated. Okay, it correct. It cannot be. Correct, yes. Yeah, it doesn't have to be 180 days, 81 days or whatever. In consecutive. consecutive you're correct. Right. Yes. Yeah, I'm but sorry. you can't come what back did, to your you second say? home and hang wanna, out here. What did, what You're did you correct. I'm You're correct. correct. Yeah. I'm correct. <laughs> so you could do that if you really wanted to save money on taxes and the homes there are pretty inexpensive versus here. I mean, there if, are other if you ways. are looking for places to move, when you're like, I can sell my house. I have all this equity. Where am I going to go? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. <laughs> Puerto Rico. Or, yeah. Puerto Rico, I think, might be the place to go. No? Yeah? No. I no. just hired a really good tax guy, and he's helping me figure out how to... So Puerto Rico? No. Where without to having to move to Puerto Rico. Okay. No. I'm buying some investments, you know, taking care of some of that stuff, which is kind of cool because I'm glad I'm doing it now rather than April 15th when I can't do anything. I know. Or October 15th so when I can't do anything. My tax guy always tells me on the 10th how much money I owe to the IRS. And why I'm do like, you do that? I don't know why he does that. Every single year. You need to get a new tax guy. I know. I know. Start January 1st for 2022. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll be the thing. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that'll be something I do. Maybe she wouldn't be drinking tomorrow or today. Like she said, she was, yeah. I'm drinking. Not going to do. Today is just, I'm going to just. Beth. I'm just going to release. Beth is from Yellowstone. Oh, okay. She's back on season four, but like in full Beth mode. So I can't, I have to watch a series from finish, start to finish. I can't handle this. Like, I'm in this one series called um, The Morning Show, I think, with uh, Jennifer Aniston. Mm -hmm. And it's like series three, and I'm pissed because I have to wait for the next year in order for them to get the next season out. Yeah, I want to go start to finish. So I might actually do Tiger King. (laughs) That (laughs) sounds wonderful. That it's over, amazing. right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you watched Billions? Billions is done. No, that, you know what? I am going to look at Billions. Everybody's oh, told me about that one. It's a good one. Is that Watch with uh, Rock? It's funny. No. Or is that the one with? No, it's. Um... Rock has one too. What was that called? <sighs> what is his name? It starts with a B. The Rock has one? That's a series? Is it The Walker? Bill- Billions is great. Um, have you seen Billions, yeah. Beta? Would you watch it? Is it about making billions? No, it's uh, Bobby Axelrod. I like me some Axelrod. But his, uh, who is the guy that's in there? He's good. This is not the one I'm thinking of. Damien Lewis. Damien Lewis is the actor in Billions. Okay. This is not the one I'm thinking of? Yeah, no. So it's it's actually a great show. It's been, I mean, it's just, it's so crazy because, you know, it talks about people with lots and lots of money and the things that they do and... Ballers. Ballers. Have yeah. you seen that? Mm-mm. That's Dwayne Johnson. Oh, okay. Ballers. I don't think it's a series, though. Yeah. HBO. Okay. Good to know. Not going to watch it. Maybe on Sunday when I'm recovering. I don't believe you anymore. I, I'm no longer. 
I just, no. you know, I just make decisions on the whim now. I'm not planning anything in my life. Cool. I've decided. It makes you feel better to wing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was that many years ago. I yeah. can't do that anymore. I'm just going to wing it. No. I'm just going to wing my life and see what happens. You're so full of crackers. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. What else we got? Oh, you tell me. I mean, I've got a bunch of articles. We've got you, the, well, I don't want to talk about your... Read them. What, to do during the holiday season? what can you do during the holiday season here? So there's that new Enchant. Have you heard about that? At the downtown mm -mm. ballpark? Or I mean the Las Vegas ballpark? Oh my God, yes. Where it's a complete ice rink and you can go ice skating and there's fun, uh, fun like activities a, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. It's great. You, you heard that it was good? Yeah. You haven't been there? No, no. You going to go? I don't know yet. Not that good. I'll huh? wing it. <laughs> Not that good. I'll figure it out between. I put Christmas lights on in Do October. Do you? What? Um, so we have a, we have a festival of lights called the volley and the volley is where, mm. um, it's, it, um, you're supposed to light up your house, uh, and it's meant for prosperity and to help you make money over the next year. So like anyway, that. so we usually do it with candles throughout. And so I was like, you know, this guy's going to come, he's going to get super busy. Um, I, last year I only had my lights up for maybe 15 days. So I thought, well, why don't I just light it up for the volley? Right. And so I did it. Luckily, my HOA didn't say anything because if they would have, I would have just been like, it's my religious holiday. Tell me that I can't do it. <laughs> um, but I had it up before Halloween, like the week. Oh, before. and it stayed up the whole time. Mm -hmm. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I wasn't going to take it down and then put it back up. So you have like the reindeer and all that stuff or? It's, it's for, for my holiday. It's a religious <laughs> holiday. So there was two reindeers. Mine isn't as extensive as yours. Yours is nuts. No, it's not. It's just on the tree. Oh, my God. Yours is nuts. Mine is like three Christmas trees that are lit, you know, like little light up Christmas trees. Yeah. There's three of those at different levels. There's two reindeers and then there's lights on the house. That's it. I'm basic. I am a basic bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you said it first. <laughs> yeah, it is super basic in my house. We do but not it's lit go. Up. We do not go over over the uh, yeah it just it's too much for me yeah no my house is i also not don't like a whole top bunch top. of colors and blah blah, blah. i just very just simple like white, white light lights. yeah how yeah. many of you guys are white light holidayers uh holiday lights or do you like the colored holiday lights because i think there's a mix you'll go to some people's homes and it's like whew, white it's yeah. christmas story or whatever that christmas vacation yeah. then some that is like straight up christmas decorations like lots of christmas decorations yes so i don't like the outside of my house does not have lots of christmas decorations it's simple white lights um, the inside of my house, we got a new tree last year. I don't love it, but my kids do and they live there. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> we got it. <laughs> what do you not like about it? So I really liked it because it's, it's the Christmas tree. So I don't have a real Christmas tree. I have a fake one, but it's the Christmas tree that has snow on it. And so oh. I like the fact that it has snow. You on like it. them flocked. Interesting. Uh -huh. But, um, when the, when it lights up, like it's got the colored lights and it's got the white lights and it keeps going back and forth and I so when you I like the white lights I like the white lights um but when I so but that doesn't look good on the flocked trees for some it's reason too white. it doesn't yeah like it just mm. feels like it's it's a little excessive so I, you know like many many years ago and here's the fun part so here's the fun fact about Christmas for me is that many years ago like right after my divorce I, I decided that I wanted to do something for me so I went to this really high-end like Christmas decoration um uh, store and I bought the most like eccentric like I remember that tree was it like peacocks or something it's peacocks and birds and feathers <laughs> and I mean and it's got crystal balls on it this like, is before I actually like shiny her. crystal balls like <laughs> all sorts of stuff and I just wanted and it's it was it's actually a company that like I mean, these are, they're ex like these stupid things are very expensive. Like every single one of those is probably a hundred and like each decoration, like $150 each, like crazy. Where's that tree today? So anyways, so, no, that's just the decorations. <laughs> oh, okay. So when I put the decorations on, so it's like the, the birds are 150. They have all this, like, they have all these, um, Swartzky crystal. They do. Uh, <laughs> they do. They have Swartzky crystal on them. And the feathers the were peacocks, plucked from the, the peacocks. Feathers, I mean, you name it. It's got, it's, it's pretty legit. <laughs> it like, was very ornate. I it, remember seeing it. Yes. That's a great word. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I went and got these cause I was like, I'm going to do what I want. 
for my tree because I've never been able to do that my entire life. So I went and got all this stuff and I decorated and it was a normal, regular green tree with white lights on it. And then all of this. And I loved it. Like loved it, loved it, loved it. Well, none of those look good on this flock tree. <laughs> and so I've been really, and my you kids. You still have all that? Yeah. Every oh year God. you were putting all that stuff up? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh. It's beautiful. I didn't know that that's still the same tree. And then my, my tree topper is a reindeer holding a martini glass. That's like that so appropriate with all the peacocks that totally goes. <laughs> but yeah, it used to be, it used to sit on top of a um, crystal ball that turns. So oh. the crystal ball was in, in my old house. It was, it had the disco ball. <laughs> Here's why it was re her whole house was remodeled. <laughs> there was, so there was this little ball at the top that was electric and it would spin. And so you'd have the, it would, there was a crystal ball hanging and then the reindeer with the martini glass turning all day on all the tree night long. No, it was separate. It was like, you separate. actually hung it from the roof yeah. <laughs> from the ceiling or ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And then it would just turn. It was great. It made me so happy. So freaking happy. Now it's a little extra. So I, <laughs> but it made me 2021 happy only now. <laughs> well, and I gave, and so because that tree was mine, I got my children their own trees for their room and they got to decorate their own trees. So they have their own, huh? I don't know. Mine, Sydney does my, too. My kids do. Yeah. yeah. They that, have their own tree. They can decorate their own tree with whatever they want. When I was a kid, I was lucky I got a tree. We got a tree to put. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Yeah. But I agree. I think a lot of kids these days have their own trees. Like they want to decorate them whatever the color they want, which is probably, you, uh, you know, the way that it would go since you could, so you could put your big old ornate tree together on your, although you got the flocked tree. Oh my God. I will tell you, you have to come see my tree. I don't love the, I don't love the decorations, the flocked. So tree, what dec but. decorations do you have on it now? Well, so now I've got, uh, I've the same. No, there's a couple of the it's a couple are similar. A couple of them are similar. Like I do have some, I mean, I paid a lot of money for those stupid decorations, but it probably needs to be redone. Why don't you put um, another tree in your living room? I could. Or I mean, the tree room. is in the living room. Our family, the family room. room. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't decided. There's no room in there. I, I don't know. I'll wing it. Well, you're going <laughs> to. You better it's stop saying that. <laughs> That's not you how you think live. I'm gonna just do it. That's how I'm gonna do it. Wing it. Wing it. Just wing my life. Yeah. I'm just gonna wing it. No. I mean, I did that for many years. I'm here. I am just fine. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? In the knocking on the wood. For what? You okay, know when you I'll knock. Yeah. Um. Not gonna so, wing it. So yeah. Because I don't need you crying like you cried just ten minutes ago about how you didn't hit certain places in your goals for a week. I know. I am. I, I'm not crying about it. I'm not crying about it. I'm fine. No, you were I'm crying about fine, the wine. Shelly. <laughs> Moving on. Moving right along. Moving so, right along. Talk about raising the roof. Uh, I don't know what this is, actually. I just raising pulled the that roof. up. That's raising the roof. That's raising the, raising the, the roof. roof. Yes. I got nothing. Okay. So if you actually read the article, <laughs> it is... Um, they talk about public school teacher uh, with the Clark County School District. Um, Clara will make around $45,000 a year, nearly double what she made as a cashier on the Las Vegas Strip. She finally feels like her life is moving in the right direction and her hard work is paid off for her and her children. Her landlord, however, will be raising her rent on her four-bedroom home next month. He says it is to bring the rates more in line with what home prices are in the area, which is something that is happening all across Nevada right now. Although Clara does not blame her landlord, she will no longer be receiving federal assistance based on her new income, and she cannot afford to spend more than half of her income on housing without struggling to buy groceries and taking her boys out mm -hmm. um, of after-school programs. Her other option is to move into a two-bedroom, going for the same amount that she is paying now, or move out of Southern Nevada entirely. Um, Does it say what she did? How's that she's story a end? Teacher. No, I mean, like, how did she move out, or is she just doing this oh, to state you that? You want the end of the story? Yeah. You want me to go to the the yeah. end? The end. Sure. Nevada's leaders can achieve all. Um, no, it, most importantly, imagine Las Vegas, where hardworking residents like Clara are able to worry less about the cost of housing and focus more on building a su successful future. 
for their families. Um, it looks like she's going with the affordable housing, the affordable Two apartment. Bedroom. Yep. So I, uh, I too have increased our rent for. I our, know because our... it's happening across the board. It's yeah. happening everywhere. Well, I think for some landlord, like I, she's been at that rent for four years. Mm -hmm. I mean, with or without the market increase, it was due to to go up, right? Yeah. So I think probably but in it that helps same with situation. the market increase. Yeah, a little bit. You know, yeah. some some benefit of owning your own home is that that mortgage payment is kind of stabilized, whether it's a it's a landlord mortgage payment or I mean a tenant occupied property or your own. Yeah. Right. But crazy. Well, I mean, it is happening. And fortunately, I mean, what other option does she have? You know, she's going to yeah. go into a two bedroom now. Well, and so there are mm -hmm. other it's funny because if she had come as a teacher, so the whole public system is. Uh, school system is pretty screwed up. I don't Have you been watching anything mm -hmm. about the, oh God, it's a nightmare. Don't, don't do it. It'll give you a headache. You'll want to wing your life as too. <laughs> so we just, we, um, in, in here in Nevada. So if we have teachers that come from other parts of the country where they get paid more, right? Yeah. We incentivize them Sign with on. the same pay from that other state Oh, we match their pay? We match their pay if they come here. And give a sign-on bonus. So if teachers here in Nevada, right, are working, like let's say you're a teacher, I'm a teacher, you came from New York, I've lived here, and I've been working in Nevada, this is my community, I'm getting paid $45,000 a year, but you're getting 60000 a year, right? Yeah. Where they're matching whatever it was that you were making in another state. Well, the cost of living in New York is higher than yep. it is here, which is, but, but we're trying to incentivize teachers Odyssey. to come into our state because we are, we are legitimately, we don't have enough. Truly. Truly. And legitimately do not have enough teachers for the amount of kids. Mm -hmm. Right. Which is why all the schools are, are more crowded now and so on and so forth. So they're with doing that. So I, I'm looking at it from, well, screw it. I'm going to go to New York mm -hmm. and then come back and then I'll come back. Yeah. They can incentivize me to come back and pay me the salary that I'm due because yeah. I can't afford to live in New York and the salary that they're giving me there. Yeah. But I can live in Nevada with the salary that they're giving me. In New Is York. New York hiring? I don't know. Oh, just curious. I'm, I'm assuming, I mean, they're pretty, they're pretty uh, densely populated. They are. Yeah. Right. So I'm assuming that they need teachers. just. But they pay their teachers do. really well. So they maybe don't those teachers because, don't. In well, New that's York? What I, but that's what I'm saying. The teachers are getting paid based off of, the, so teachers get paid a salary based off of what the uh, uh, cost of living is. Right. So in, if you compare the, new, the teachers in New York for public school and you compare the teachers here in Nevada for public school, that dollar amount might be higher in New York, but it's because of their it's cost. proportionate to the cost of living. So they can't afford to live in New York. Also, also with the with what yeah. they're making. But if they if they work in New York for a year and wing it and just try their hardest <laughs> to make it work, it's the it's the word of the day. Um, and just Winging it. do what it, they need to do to make it work in New York for a year, and then they can come back and get the salary New York salary, which would allow them to afford a higher uh, home uh, price or be able to buy something or be able to, you know, they're put $20,000 yeah. away for whatever they need. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's a good strategy. So I are mean, you sharing that on your, is that like a strategy you're, you're no. discussing? Oh, this no. is the argument that they're all making. Yes. So, so they're trying to right size this so that it's fair, equal amongst all of the teachers, whether you're coming in from another state or no. No, no. So they can't, we can't afford to do that. I mean, let's look at, I mean, if, here in Nevada, we can't afford to, to match current Nevada teachers with to, the same salaries that are coming in from other yeah. states. It's impossible. I mean, we are, I, how much money have we spent on, on things over the last year and a half? I'm I mean, sure we, we got a new tax bill. I thought a few years we're, ago that okay, we we're supposed you know to be incented you know from that. Been, you know who's been paying, who's going to be paying for that? Who? Sydney, Arjun, Veer. Like Why? it's going to be our children because that, like, where is that money coming from? Yeah. I, what happened to the tax bill for the uh, marijuana stuff? I don't want to talk about politics. I do not want to talk about <laughs> politics. Um, the marijuana money, just so you know, and this was something that frustrated the heck out of me. It was earmarked for that. It was ear earmarked. And so what the school district did was they took the money from that was coming in from marijuana and they said, all right, cool. So now we've got this. I'm just going to give out round numbers. We've got this $250,000 that we've got coming in from marijuana. Awesome. So the 250 that we had already allocated for these items, we're just going to move that and reallocate it to something else in the general fund. Mm -hmm. And so they used it for something else that was not related. So because they could, 
they could move yeah. that, but the marijuana money was allocated for the schools, and so that had to be used for the schools, and so they just moved whatever had, had been in that. But there's got to be more. Things, you think? But yeah. Where is it coming from? I mean, we know where it's coming from, but I mean, we where talked is it? about all the shortages that are currently happening in our in our country, right? Mm-hmm. All the shortages of of obviously the housing shortage. You've got a chip shortage. You've got a sand shortage. Is there a marijuana You've got shortage a, now? I don't. I think that we are we are <laughs> have an abundance. Everybody should yeah of of, mar- of marijuana. <laughs> we have marijuana Maybe. in abundance, not as much as as Denver does, which I just found out. Fun fact: the Denver, Colorado, has one of the highest. Um, uh, amounts of marijuana than any other city in the really? in the country. Is there like stats on that? I don't know. Again, I regurgitated this from someone else, so I don't know if it was. If <laughs> let me check it out. True. If it's on internet, I'll let you know. <laughs> if it's on Google, check out. Uh, you know, somebody told me. So I'm I'm um, on a luxury uh, uh, summit committee, and we're talking about the marijuana issue and you know where it's the highest. And somebody said Denver is where they have the most amount of marijuana dispensaries and uh grow houses and blah 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 blah. is that accurate uh it's this is growers but they go by their actual operation name so i don't know where they're located oh ultra health is the number one mammoth farms i would assume is what california i don't know probably because it's mammoth mammoth right new mexico ultra farms ultra health new mexico mammoth falls is colorado no, so what I'm saying is that's how many, there's growers. the most amount of growers in Denver than there are. So you're probably looking at the number one marijuana company? This is, is that, the number one what, grower. The number one grower. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm saying is the amount of grow houses and dispensaries, oh. right, combined, there's more in Denver than there are anywhere else. But where, there, where that marijuana is coming from, I don't know has to be coming from the exact same space. Probably. Right? You remember we had our 101 on our flight to Destin? Correct. Oh, that's yes. right. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. We got our full yeah. lowdown on the Good cannabis stuff. industry and since then they I, had. And then I got, and then I got, and like, you got samples. And I got samples. <laughs> so this guy sitting it was, next, it was to a her, full on. next to us that we were, that Conference. he, so I was really excited because he had a wipe, like a sanitizing wipe. Then he wiped down his chair and the, little thing in front of him and he I was sprayed like, oh before we God. sat down I looked at him and I was like I think I'm in love right and we just started and we just yeah. started talking what do you do and you know once I get started I just keep talking hence here we are um <laughs> it's almost time it's time to go it is time so bye guys have a great day make sure that you <laughs> Like Stay tuned to next episode to hear what the rest of the story about, sounds like. All about the guy on the plane who gave me free samples. <laughs> Are we coming back of next week? Marijuana. Yes, we are. All right. All right. Bye. Have a great That's one. That's a wrap. Don't forget-